everybody. So we're gonna do a different kind of video today. Uh, no go pets, no scooters, no Harleys. I'm meeting up with my friend Frank. Oh, I just passed Arbor. <laughs> and we're gonna go to the Los Angeles Convention Center to see a lowrider show. I love lowriders. I love the paint style and just the like the sheer <laughs> insanity that it, it takes to build a lowrider car with engraving and airbrush work and plating. Uh, it's it's unbelievable the amount that goes into these cars to make them look the way they do. So yeah, we're gonna head out into LA to check out some wild cars. Come along for the ride. Hola, Francisco. What's up, man? You look like such a redneck right now. Why? I got 20s. <laughs> what are you doing down there? Huh? Oh. Um, yeah, park, park right there on the corner. Sorry, sir. On the corner. Yeah, you're safe, though. You're Just in case. Just, just, just in case, yeah. Just, just yeah, in case. Yeah, you gotta need, buy a couple you, kilos. You need to do something yeah. later on. Even the even the lights pointing at the car are all painted. Everything under the car is patterned and engraved. Unreal. You can see that uh, speaker fed induction system. Every time the bass hits, you get a little more horsepower. I'd watch your engine to have healthy soon. What's the story on this one? Originally, he had already built a 58 Perfect Four. But uh, a few years back, on the way back from Las Vegas, the trailer rolled with the lowrider inside of it. Oh shit. So insurance claimed him out and built this one, which is the perfect uh, the final score. Wow. Instead of the perfect score. They made panels underneath the rockers. Yeah. That's fucking nuts. You know, because you can't have too much, you know, you can't have enough engraving. So. You can never have too much engraving. So you, you know, make, some you guy can. probably lost the use of his hands yeah, no, because I mean, of this car. You know, we just, hey, when you, when you run out of things you engrave, you just make up panels to engrave. Yeah. That's the right way to do it. Something like this is just the perfect lowrider because you could take it anywhere. Day to day. Day to day. You know take, it, take it to the office. Office. 
business meeting. Business meeting. No. Liquor store. Liquor store. <laughs> it's got just the right amount of everything. I mean, you still have a trunk. Still got like a little bit of foam under. But under there's here. but there's pumps. The roof is sick. Patterns of water drops. Not too much. Not too much. Right enough to lower it. Well, that's sick. All the trim is engine turned. I'm gonna buy you that, Frank. Dundee would be proud. I know what to say, got some gators for them haters. show was good now we're gonna head to the city uh, ah, fuck we're already in the city I guess we're gonna get we're gonna get some tacos welcome to beautiful downtown LA nobody wanted to live what no. two, two years ago maybe uh, there's a farmer's market down the street now where all the bums used to live yeah everyone's selling you know let's, let's roll out the bums let's, let's sell some fresh fruit and shit <laughs> Roll out the bums and sell some fresh fruit. Let's get this. <laughs> now these buildings aren't old. They have character, right? Character. Yeah. That's the selling point. They're like, you see all those old bricks? <laughs> you can't buy old bricks like that. <laughs> Ridiculous. I don't ever want to live in the city. I miss, too much. I miss living in like in North Hollywood where I could go to the city whenever I wanted to. Yeah. But as far as like living in the city, no. Oh. Too much. Just for the birds. Ah! Oh! Ah! So we left, we got tacos, we came back, our space was still here. It's just like perfect. It's covered, it's all the way in the corner, and um, we can tailgate a little bit. <laughs> I can't believe the 64 hops like that. We got the ruler. Keep an eye out. Let's go.
Damn, that's a lot of car to be hopping. I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure this guy does not trust any females. I don't think there is one female that this man would trust. Alright, so that was a good day. We got some tacos. That's a wrap. We got amazing parking. We got wristbands, so we didn't have to sit in line or do anything. Went inside the back door. A lot more access than we thought. When you went back there, and like the guy just—he he looked at me like, "Get out of here." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right, all right. So when I walked into the back, I didn't realize, but but Frank was told not to walk back there. But the other guy, he let me go ahead, like I was just part of the crew. <laughs> we got way more access than we really should have. Yeah. I was shooting the jump competition from an area that. Yeah. I really should not have been shooting in. That's what happens when you're white. <laughs> when you're white and you have a GoPro, you can pretty much do anything you want, I think. Yeah. It seems to be the rules. Yeah. <laughs> so anyways, yeah, thanks for watching. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. and Or dislike. I, mean, I don't know, maybe you don't like roller riders. So, <laughs> do whatever you want. Thanks. Or tacos. Or tacos. Maybe you don't like tacos either. Maybe but you're vegan. Maybe, you're, maybe you just want vegan tacos. <laughs>